Hello everyone, this is DA from me Academy. Hope you guys are really doing well and happy new year. So let's continue the series of the theorems related to the compact spaces. Today we are going to see that real line is not compact. So let's start proving this claim. For proving this claim, let's take a collection C from R that contains element of UN where N belongs to the natural numbers and we can visualize it as so this is our real line and from the collection, the collection we have formed in a way that from minus 1 to 1 we have u1 and then from minus 2 to 2 we have u2 from this to this we have u2 and going in a way we will u3, u4 from minus 3 to 3 we have u3 and from minus 4 to 4 we have u4 and so on so as n approaches to infinity this u i covers whole of the real line so it is clear that c is a cover of real line uh, we can write it as so r is the union of that collection c and that c is the union of all of the un from 1 to infinity now we have a cover of the real line but what we have to do is we're finding a finite subcover in order to prove R as a compact space but we are proving that R is not a compact space so let's do it by contradiction so now we'll suppose that we have a finite subcover of R and let's see what happened now so let's assume that C prime is a subcover or finite subcover of R and we can write it as that R is the union of that subcollection or that sub finite subcover and that equals to UN, the union of all of the UIs from I very 1 to K. So let's put the maximum element of all of the NI as M now. So if M is the maximum of all of the NIs where I vary from 1 to K, that is from the finite subcover, then we can write it as that each of the ni from 1 to k is a subset of that um because what is um um is a is one of the interval from minus m to m so if we take the maximum elements from all of this element m is the maximum element and from this we can write that all of the uni where i vary from 1 to k we can write that um is the superset of all of the uni as if we take union of all of the u and i that is r uh, by our assumption that c dash or c prime is the finite subcover so we can write again so by taking union on both sides this will be r and this will be u m where what is u m is from minus m to m is an open interval so this says that u m is a superset of the real line but in general we know that um is a subset of real line because um is just a finite interval so in general we know that um is a subset of r and this assumption gives us that r is a subset of um so this thing by combining this thing we can say that r is eventually um and what is um um is a finite interval from minus m to m where m is the maximum element from n i's from i very 1 to k so this is a contradiction of our assumption that this is not possible because r is infinite and the assumption that r is the union of this subcollection is wrong we can also visualize it that r is not uh, equal to um uh, just like that if if e minus m to m is the interval or that is u m from minus m to m and if we take r uh, element of r from outside of this interval from there r or from from this side r such that the magnitude of r is greater than m so this thing implies that that r is is not a member of that u m from this side to this side that is u m and R is not a member of this thing but R belongs to R so this is not possible if R is equal to UM so this is wrong so now we will say that our assumption of this 
and this sub collection is not a finite sub cover of C so we will not find any of the finite sub cover of R in order to prove that R is compact so we will conclude here that R is not our compact space so this is for now if you're looking for more such videos then you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye